Okay, so I want to preface this by saying that everything that I mentioned in this video is going to be inexpensive. Get, I get. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Terry King. I am the girl behind Money Multiply, which is a blog that talks about personal finance and all things lifestyle. So this is a different type of video that I'm doing because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And I want to help you guys out who may be struggling with a couple of gift ideas to get your partner for the upcoming holiday. Um, I got you. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I'm going to preface this by saying that everything that I mentioned in this video is going to be inexpensive gift I get. <laughs> everything that I say in this video is going to be inexpensive gift ideas that you can get your partner for Valentine's Day. So, you already knew this one was coming, flowers. You can spend a little or you can spend a lot on flowers. You can go outside and pick flowers from your garden and tie them up with a piece of um, ribbon or thread. Or you can go to your local florist and pick up a nice bouquet. Um, it's all up to you um, and what you think your partner might like. The next gift idea that I have for you guys is a relationship poster timeline. Okay, so this is exactly what it sounds like. Um, you have to get creative with this one. It is a little bit of a DIY project, but you get a poster and literally create a timeline of your relationship um, and include different, you know, memories and like sweet little insight jokes on it just to really personalize it and make it special for you and your partner. So along the lines of the relationship timeline poster, I think that a memories in a jar is a really good gift idea to get your partner. It's exactly what it sounds like. Um, you get um, some post-its, write down little memories, and you put them in a jar. Um, and on Valentine's Day, you and your partner can um, open up the jar and reflect on all of the memories that you guys share. I also think this is a really great gift idea because it's something that you guys can keep um, and add to as you create more and more memories. Um, another great inexpensive gift idea is a photo album or a scrapbook. Um, when you guys take pictures or go on trips, um, and create memories together, you can add it to the scrapbook or the photo album. And I think that this is just really sweet. Okay, this next one is a little different, um, but custom coupons. This is where you would grab an index card and write down different acts of services that you might perform for your partner. This could be as simple as giving them a massage or offering to buy them their favorite cup of coffee or even offering to cook them dinner. Speaking of dinner, especially if your partner is a foodie, they are going to love going out on a nice dinner for Valentine's Day. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money, in fact. Uh, if you want to cook dinner together, I think that this is a really great way to spend time with one another. Um, and maybe even if you don't have the money to spend on an expensive restaurant, you can um, figure out what you might want to order, what dish you might want to get at the restaurant, and try making it yourself. So, you know, always looking for ways to learn a new skill, do it together. Jewelry is also always a great gift idea. Um, if your girl has a charm bracelet, maybe get her a new charm. Um, or even some custom jewelry, that's always a great gift idea. Um, you can even purchase them rings or um, name plates. Um, jewelry is always, always, always a great go-to for Valentine's Day. Um, 
And speaking of custom items, if your girl loves cups and tumblers, get her a personalized tumbler. I know for me personally, I love cups and anytime I go to Starbucks, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that tumbler right there and I just need to stop myself because I have way too many cups. <laughs> but it's always a good gift to get someone, um, especially if they're like fragrant. Fragrances are also a great gift idea. Um, if you see that your girl's getting low on um, her favorite perfume, why not get it for her? Um, and if there is a fragrance that you like yourself um, and you want her to smell like, get that for her because if she knows that you like that scent, she's obviously going to wear it because she wants to smell like it. Also, a really good gift idea is a creative care kit. Um, this could be filled with all the things that you know your girl is going to love, such as a sheet mask, slippers, silk pajamas, um, nail polish, press-on nails, basically anything that you could imagine um, that she would want to use in her like spa day, on her day off, or like self-care day, then 